Uh, thanks. And now um, I'd like to bring up Anne Marie Talicio. Uh, she um, is, uh, among other things, the uh, president of the uh, Central New York Labor Council. But, uh, but she's also an expert, though, on uh, worker training. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the workforce that we have in Central New York and the kinds of things that we need to do to improve it and to keep it going. First, I'd like to thank you, Representative Lafay, for holding this press conference so we could talk about this blueprint. I'm also really thankful to you for holding and including all of us in the uh, in very inclusive roundtable meetings we've had around the district. Uh, it's nice <coughs> to be included besides worrying about the end result of the job. We worry about creating jobs and we worry about our employers to, uh, to stay in business and keep good jobs. So that's why I'm here today. One of the key areas we discussed during these roundtable meetings, which is underlined in the jobs report, is utilizing Central New York's talented workforce and the importance of making sure our population has access to the best possible training and retraining to fill the needs of business. Because business needs workers, we need jobs, but how do you link the two? We need to have the skills that they need to grow their businesses. If we want to put Central New Yorkers back to work, keep our children and their talent here, and attract new talent, new families, then we have to have a quality public education right from kindergarten straight through the 12th grade, and as well as an affordable, accessible higher education system. Central New York businesses need access to a well-trained, highly skilled workforce so that they can, can compete within our state, other regions in our, of our country, and in the global economy. We talk a lot about needing workers, needing skills. We can't find them here. But as long as we provide and create the linkages that the businesses need, we can put people back to work. This, re this report talks about giving tax incentive incentives to employers who take the lead in keeping their worker skills current and provide the training needed by the new workers to hire. In recent years, many workers have lost their jobs due to unfair trade agreements. These talented and experienced workers who have already proven their ability to contribute to our economy and help local businesses thrive deserve access to retraining and upgrading of skills programs. Existing worker training programs like the Trade Adjustment Assistance need to be maintained and expanded so that these displaced workers can get back to work. All anybody ever wants to do is to work and provide for the family. <coughs> No one's looking for handouts. If we can put businesses together with the workers and provide the link, which is the education piece, then we can make sure that our economy has the workers that the businesses need to thrive. I'm pleased that all the issues that we discussed about workers and workers' training are in the blueprint report that you have here today. And I look forward to working with Representative McVeigh over the next months and hopefully weeks and months to getting all these ideas in the blueprint into reality.